Greetings YouTube, my name is Alex and I am the Reef Dog and today I'm going to see if you can drill real reef rock. The benefits of doing so are that you can hide the frag plugs so they sit nice and flush and don't look unsightly but it's quite expensive stuff and it's also quite brittle so you don't really want to experiment uh, and see if it works yourself so I've done it for you and I've done it with plating rock, I've done it with branching rock and I've done it with the normal stuff. So let's take a look and see if it works. Starting with plating rock then, I've drilled two small pilot holes and have rested the rock on sand to support it and reduce the risk of breakage. Drilling pilot holes is the safest way to do this, but you can also go straight in with a larger drill bit to match the size of your frag plug. With a 16mm drill bit, these plugs slot in perfectly. The branching rock though is a different story altogether. It's really dense, so drilling is hard work, and it took me ages to make a dent in this stuff. Please excuse the health and safety fail here. Make sure you don't drill towards your hand if you try this at home. Now, as well as being dense, the rock isn't very wide, so you do have to be careful not to snap this stuff. Slow and steady is the name of the game, and you'll have to drill for a good five minutes. I stopped short of going all the way on this, and in the end, I just cut the bottom off the frag plug with a pair of wire cutter pliers. But even sitting a few millimeters off the rock like this, is still better than having the entire frag plug sitting on the rock. Now the standard shape rock is mostly made up of smaller pieces of rock, so you have to choose your spot carefully, and I definitely recommend drilling a pilot hole to start with. But if you do choose your spot right, it does work, and the plug sits nice and flush. Now it's important to point out that I'm using pile drill bits, these are much more sympathetic to the rock, so are less likely to do damage. And they happen to make a hole the same shape as my favorite frag plugs. Now on this piece of rock, I managed to drill a dozen holes of varying sizes. If you can't drill a hole as deep as a frag plug, cut the bottom off it with a pair of wire cutter pliers, or choose a thin SPS frag to sit in the shallow holes. And to prove it can be brittle, I managed to snap two bits off after choosing the wrong spot to drill. But all you need to do is super glue it back together and you'd never know it had snapped in the first place. So here's the net effect then. With zoas, when they grow out onto the rock, you can pull the original plug out, sell it, then put a new plug in the hole and repeat the process for a bit of extra pocket money. And finally, here's an example of a shallow hole I filled with a small SPS frag instead of a frag plug. So there you have it. The answer is yes, you can drill it, but with the branching rock, it's quite dense and is very difficult to do so. The standard style rock is quite crumbly and prone to break, but the plating rock is actually quite easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up and check out some of my other content. And until next time, I've been the Reef Talk. Thank you, good night.